test the strength of some rawhide bowstring. And what I did is I took uh, my deer hide that I shot last year and made some bowstring out of it. And this is double double ply thickness. And uh, so we have it on a tilling machine and trying to test it. This is a poundage here when you pull down pull down on this it, you can measure the poundage. And we we surmise it's probably going to break it at two strands. What do you think? Well, the thing is, is we pulled it end, end to end, which would be a tensile strength, and mm -hmm. we pulled it to, what, 40 pounds? Mm -hmm. And what we're realizing is is that uh, being the, the bowstring pinching at that, at that midpoint of the string, I think we have a different load. I think we're magnifying the load more than the 40-pound tensile strength. So mm -hmm. we're going to give her... You know, it worked to 30. So what's our bow? Our bow is what, 30? 30, 30 the, bow, the bow itself has a 30 pound draw. Right. And we pulled the string end to end, which would be a stretching strength or a tensile strength right. to 30 or 40 pounds. And so if it breaks, we know we have more of an actual load um, on a bow string than what your poundage of your bow can Right. Do. So we're surmising that you're going to have to, what's happening with the string is, as it's stretching on this machine, we're putting it on, it's actually getting smaller and smaller. So in order to, to make a decent, decent bow string that's going to be the correct size to, to knock an arrow, we're probably going to have to, you know, to not be too big, it's going to have to be at least three strands of, of deer hide. And I think I cut the, the, the spiral at eight, at eight inch, you know, eight, an eighth to a little less than a quarter of, of the, when I was cutting out the spiral for this trans, so it's going to have to be at least three. But we're going to test it out, so here we're going to go start pulling on it and see what happens. We think it's going to break. Or, can you read it from there? Fifteen, yeah. Okay, fifteen. Just kind of call it out as we go. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, Mm. Work it in a little bit here. 25. <laughs> it feels pretty. It's not stretching anymore. 25. That's 30. So we're up to our huh? our test weight. Let's let's stop and look at the string and see if we get see if it's getting any smaller or sustained. I don't think it's. I think it's at the end of its stretching. Yeah, it might be okay for this bow. It's a really low brace height, yeah. but it's doable. We can always tighten so, it. So I think we're surmised that we probably need it just to, for safety wise. We probably have to go up at least one more strand on a when we're making a bow. So it's good to know, you know. So, so I think we go shoot it. Let's go, let's go shoot it. So this is the Oregon ash bow with the uh, rawhide string first shot here. How'd it feel? Um, I think I think I think we got all the stretch out of it. <laughs> <laughs> the string. All right. Feels like all everything is coming in the right. in the bow. Sounded good. It's getting more. Uh, it's faster arrow. Getting more of the bow. Less, you know. Really? Less straight. Yeah. Huh? We're down to about two inches of two inches of brace height. We probably shouldn't go much lower than that. The back slap on those limbs. So we have to restring it then? Yeah, I think we'll try one more shot and we'll restring right. it. Oh. <laughs> there it goes. We had to break. That was our. Uh, well, what happened? So there you go. It just keeps getting shorter Stre and shorter and shorter. So, so they so. stretches and stretches and stretches.